Hello class, today we are going to continue talking about transformations. No, we're still not talking about that kind of transformation. So, uh, so again, this is something that changes a figure into a new figure. There are four basic transformations. Those are translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations. Now, in the last video we talked about translations, which means today we are on to reflections. Uh, so a reflection is a transformation that uses a line like a mirror to reflect the figure. All right? This mirror line is called the line of reflection. So for example, I have triangle ABC here. I'm going to reflect it over the Y axis. And so it just goes like that. You see it just flips over the Y axis and reflections. A lot of times they're called flips. All right? So point A moves over here to A prime, B goes to B prime, C goes to C prime. And one thing I want to point out, notice that the distance from C to our line of reflection is two units, and the distance from C prime to the line of reflection is also two units. Same thing is true for A. A is five units from the line of reflection, and A prime is five units on the other side of the line of reflection. Okay, so now real quick, let's take a look at the coordinates here. So remember the pre-image, that's what comes first. The image is the new form, the new figure. Look at our coordinates of the pre-image and the image. What do you notice about those coordinates? Yeah, all that happened is the x value changed signs, right? The x value was negative 5, it turns into positive 5. x value of negative 6 turns into positive 6. x of negative 2 turns to positive 2. And the y values all stay the same. All right. uh, the same would be true if I started positive, it would flip over to a negative. All right. So, you see, to reflect over the y-axis, all we do is we change the sign of the x values. That, so, for example, if I had a point at positive 7, negative 3, and I reflected over the y-axis, I would just change that positive 7 from my x to a negative 7. So I would have negative 7, negative 7. All right. That's flipping over the y-axis. Let's take a look at reflecting over the x-axis. So I'm going to reflect my image here, my a prime, b prime, c prime, over the x-axis, like so. And notice a prime goes down here to a, and I have two apostrophes because it is the image of the image. All right? It is the image of a prime, and so we would read this as a prime prime, or you might call this a double prime, but either way. So we have A prime prime, B prime prime, C prime prime. Because this is the image of A prime, B prime, and C prime. Notice, again, B prime is two units away from my line of reflection. B prime prime is also two units away from my line of reflection. And what we can do here is we can just draw a line straight from A prime to A prime prime. And notice that line is all of these lines for these points going to the reflected to the image is perpendicular. All of these lines are perpendicular to the line of reflection. Okay, and that's going to be true every single time. Okay, and also once again notice that a prime was seven units above the axis and a prime prime is seven units below the axis. So it has the same distance on both sides of the line of reflection. And that line that connects the two points will always be perpendicular to the line of reflection. All right, so let's take a look at these coordinates. So the pre-image, which was the purple here, the image of ABC, the pre-image for this reflection. And here is the image. Notice what happens to the coordinates here. Yeah, here the X values stay the same, right? But the Y values change signs. So all of these positive y values turned negative. Okay, if I was to reflect this back across, all of these negative y values would change positive. And so this makes it very easy to do a reflection over the x-axis. All we have to do is take the y value and change the sign. So if I had a point at 5, negative 6, and I reflected over the x-axis, it turns into 5, positive 6. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, so next thing we are going to do, notice this line of reflection right here. This is what we're going to reflect over. This is the line y equals x. Okay, 
And in order to do this, we're going to take all of our points and they're going to move perpendicular to the line of reflection and then they're going to go the same distance across it. So we're not going to go over here. We're going to move this way across that line of reflection. So it's going to look like this. Okay, notice it's not in the same orientation. It is kind of flipped on its side a little bit. This is not a rotation. Okay, and it can look very similar to a rotation sometimes. So you got to be careful with that. This is not a rotation. But still notice the line connecting point A to point A prime is perpendicular to the line of reflection. Same thing with the line from C to C prime and B to B prime. It's always perpendicular to the line of reflection. And also notice it is the same distance. So like here on C, it is two of these diagonal units, right? So it's two square roots of two. And here we have it's the same thing. There's two nice diagonal units right there. So the same distance on this side as we have on that side. Every single time, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so now let's take a look at the coordinates so we can see a rule for this, so we don't have to do it graphically. We can just do it real quick algebraically. So my pre-image, we have negative 5, positive 7. My image becomes positive 7, negative 5. We have negative 6, positive 2, turns into positive 2, negative 6. What do you notice is happening here? Yeah, very simply, your y's become your x's, and your x's become your y's. That's actually the equation right here. Y is x, right? So your y values move to the x value. Your x values become your y values. Very, very simple. So if you had a point at negative 3, positive 6, it turns into positive 6, negative 3. All right? And so we can do that very simply without having to graph it, and it's real nice, easy stuff. Again, notice that the lines are perpendicular to the line of reflection. All right. Last one, we are now going to reflect over the line y equals negative x. Okay, so again, we're going to have a line that goes from point A directly to the line of reflection, perpendicular, and then that same distance across. So it will be over here, right? Because it's one little diagonal there. We're going to have one little diagonal here. Okay, so here's the image. Notice it's laying on top of each other, right? Because we had A was above the line of reflection. It's going to flip to below it. B is below the line of reflection, so it flips to above the line of reflection. And notice point C right here. Point C was on the line of reflection, and it didn't move at all, did it? C and C prime are at the same place. Same is true for this point right here that was on the line of reflection. It didn't move either. Any point that is on the line of reflection is never going to move. The image is going to be the same place as the pre-image, okay? But still notice we have the same distance, right? And they are still perpendicular. The line connecting the image to the pre-image is perpendicular to the line of reflection, okay? Now let's take a look at the points here, okay? So the pre-image is at negative 5, positive 7, and that turns into negative 7, positive 5. Here we have the pre-image at negative 6, positive 2, which turns into negative 2, positive 6. So what's happening? Yeah. The x and y are still changing places, but now they are also changing signs. So the negative 5 moves to the back and becomes positive. The positive 7 moves to the front and becomes negative. Right? And look at C. The positive 2 moves to the front and becomes negative. The negative 2 moves to the back and becomes positive. And so it ends up not changing places. That's what's going to happen right there on the line of reflection. All right. So, not too bad. Easy stuff. Uh, the pre-image always comes first. Image comes second. Don't forget that. And for the reflection, remember, it's always going to move perpendicular to the line of reflection. And your image and pre-image are going to be the same distance from that line of reflection. Okay? If you're reflecting across the line y equals negative x, x and y change places and also change signs. If you're moving across the line y equals positive x, then x and y just change places. They don't have to change signs. And if you're reflecting across the x-axis, you change the sign of the y values because you're coming down below. You're not moving to the side any, so it's just the y values that change. If you're reflecting across the x-axis, you just change the sign of... Oh, sorry, if you're reflecting across the y-axis, you change the sign of the x values because, again, you're not moving up or down, so the y values don't change. All right. And again, reflection, it's like a mirror. 
uh, your image and your pre-image are the same distance from that line of reflection. And that's that. Hope you found that useful. And yeah, fine. Whatever. I'll see you in the next video.